Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. In this video we're going to solve this really interesting, this like the trickier, trickiest question I've ever seen. We got a lot of students do this common mistake, we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 8 divided by 4. On the first side this is like very easy question because everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about this division, everyone know about it, we don't have like a huge and complicated expression with sine, cosine, square root, we have like a very easy expression so everyone learns this stuff in the third or fourth grade so everyone know about it but what are the correct answer right here we have four options so option a b and c so just trust me this is like very tricky question and i hope you will solve this correctly so pause the video and try to solve it by yourself right here we have a lot of options and i hope you will choose a correct option right here for option here is our our question so just we will check our answers here in just one minute it will be really interesting okay but before solving this i want to start with this solution this is the most popular solution i've ever seen so a lot of students solve it like that so we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 8 divided by 4. This is the most popular solution and I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. This is like the most popular solution. A lot of students solve it like that. We have 8 divided by 4 on the left hand side. Yeah. So 8 divided by 4 equal to equal to 2. Yeah. And this 8 divided by 4 we have the same as right here. So 8 divided by 4 we have the same. So we have 2 on the right hand side. So 2 divided by 2 because we still have this division in the middle. So 2 divided by 2 equal to <coughs> equal to 4. Yeah. And we have sorry 1. Yeah, we have not, not 4, we have 1. So 1. And we have this option A, and this looks like option A is a correct answer. So a lot of students saw that like that, they say okay, option A is a correct answer. This is the most popular solution I've ever seen. A lot of students saw it like that. But here is the main question: is it correct or not correct? Because in math we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. Right here we just jump from left to right. We can easily start from the middle division, from the right hand side division. So it's the chaotic solution. We jump from, from left to right, from middle to right, and obviously what Whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Yeah. In math, we need to know one and only one correct solution. We cannot solve it like two times and complete a different answer. Right? See? So for this question, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation I ever seen, and I will use this PMDMC order of operation to solve this question. And then we will check with this one. Maybe one is a correct answer. I don't know exactly. But right now, let's go and let's apply this PMDMC. Okay. This is a really important step. This is not like a chaotic solution, as I told before, from left to right. Let's solve this according to PMDMC. So we have our question. So 8 divided by 4, divided by 8, and divided by and divided by 4. Okay, so here is our question. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom. The first step is parentheses. Okay, let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses right here? I didn't see any parentheses, so it's it's really great. So we just we just skip this part. We just skip this part, it's it's really great. What about the next step? Next step exponents. What about take squares, cubes right here? I don't see any of those. We don't have any squares, cubes. We just have a regular numbers without any powers. It's it's really great. So we just skip this part. And so it's really good for us because with parentheses and exponent, this question will be like more complicated. It will be more harder for us to, to solve this. And it's it's really great that we don't have these steps. Okay, what is the next step? The next step multiplication. And a lot of students do this common mistake. They say, okay, multiplication. Now we need to find multiplication sign. But we need to look at it as a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group and we need to find multiplication and division signs. Okay, let's look at it. Where do we have this multiplication and division sign? It's not, it's not like multiplication first, then division. In PMDMC, this is one common group and we need to find these multiplication and division signs. Let's look at it. Uh, 8 divided by 4, divided by 8, divided by 4. We have all the time division. So right here we have division, right here we have division, and right here we have we have division. So all the time we have division and we don't have any multiplication. So we need to skip this part with multiplication. We have division part. And saying in other words, we don't have any addition and subtraction part. So we skip this part and this part. We have only division part, only division part. We don't we didn't have any addition, subtraction, multiplication. We have only division part. But here is our main question: what is the correct order to do this problem? From left to right, from right to left, from the middle to right, from middle to left. In PMDMC, correct, correct order is from, from left to right. And we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. If you're talking about division part, we need to look what is the first sign from left to right. Let's look at it. From left to right, right here we have this division, and this is the first sign from left to right. This is the second sign 
sign, this is the third sign, but the first sign from left to right is the zith division. So we need to divide 8 divided by 2. So this is the same step as right here. So 8 divided by 4 equal to equal to 2. Yeah, and we still have this expression. 2 divided by 8 divided by 4. But as you can see right here, if you go back to this, then we divide 8 divided by 4. But in this case, if you're talking about order of operation, we still have this division part all the time, but we cannot jump because this division, as, we, as I told before, this is the second sign from left to right. But right here, we need to go to the first sign from left to right. And the first sign from left to right is this division. So 8, 8 2 divided by 8, this is our second step. 2 divided by 8, this is 1 over 4. I write it in a fraction way. So 2 divided by 8 equal to 1 over 4. And we still have this division. So 1 over 4 divided by divided by 4 equal to 1 over 16. Yeah, this is like a fraction uh, fraction right here. And this is a correct answer. And uh, let's go back right here. This is absolutely wrong solution because we cannot jump from left to right. We cannot uh, do this thing and this thing and then division in the middle. The, we solve this problem. Add this problem, type it in right here. We, we solve this problem mm, as we like to solve this problem because right here, a divided by 4, we know that this is equal to 2. And then we don't need to know about order of operation. We go to this a divided by 4. So we solve this problem in an easy way for us. We don't care about order of operation in this case, of course. And this is very bad solution. With parentheses, this is a correct solution. Yeah, because if we have parentheses, then a divided by 4 equal to 2, a divided by 4 equal to 2, and 1 is the correct answer. So with parentheses, but without parentheses, we need to reject this option A, which is absolutely wrong for us. I hope you understand my thoughts about this solution. Multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction. And this is the key moment right here. So 1 over 16, correct answer. What about option? Option A is not the same. Option B is not the same. Option C is not the same. What about this 4 to the power minus 2? Let's look at it. 4 to the power minus 2 equal to 1 over 4 square, which is equal to 1 over, over 16. So it's like a tricky moment because 1 over 16, this is the same as 4 to the power minus 2. So let's write our answer. Our answer. This is option option D. It's a correct answer to this question. This is the most popular mistake with this one. And I hope you I hope you didn't do this mistake. I hope you also this correctly. And I hope your answer is the same as mine. I really hope about it. So thank you for your time. I wish you understand my explanation and I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. See you in the next videos and have a great day.